us through the blinds Wash away the worries like a winding tide Yesterday left far behind Your sweet scent fills my lungs so and like you lovely lot uh, I'm whispering because it's very early and there's people around walking down footpaths and everything like that but welcome back good morning uh, my name's Marcus this is Notch to 11 and you're very very welcome and um, for those of you who are new here uh, I like I hope you like what you see if you do a thumbs up is always grateful and if by the end of this video you like it and um, still uh, then a subscribe would always be very very gratefully received but no welcome back um, it's a beautiful Sunday morning it's pre 7 a.m. You can see already from the from the um, the opening scenes that it's already very bright. It's going to be a hot one today, uh, so I've nipped down to my permission for two or three hours. Not long. Um, I haven't been here for ages. Um, most of you will know most of my fields here are now gone. Um, there's a couple of three fields left. They are pretty quiet. I've been over them a lot, but I've brought down a new toy. Um, I've got my Deus 2 13 by 11 inch big bad coil. Um, so yeah, I've treated myself to the bigger coil. I normally go around with the 11 inch, the round one. I've now got the elliptical, 13 by 11. Uh, so I should be able to cover a bit more ground, maybe a little bit more depth. It's very dry, so I'm not quite sure what depth we'll get. Um, but we're looking forward to it. So I hope you are too. Thanks as always for joining me. I'm gonna turn this on and get cracking and we'll see you out there. See you in a bit. Not quite straight on the target, but we've walked about 50, 60 yards onto a 64-65, which is encouraging, because as I say, this is a particularly quiet field. So we're gonna give that a dig for our first of the day. Lovely. Bit of foil, that's all right. Not deep, but the day is two's coil picked it out nicely, so that's all right. Yeah, we'll move on. There we are then. Um, been going about 40 minutes or so. We've had targets. I think that's the first thing to say. You won't have seen any of them because there's nothing really to show you. I've had a couple of kind of buttons. I've had a couple of bits of lead and I've had a couple of shotties, those types of things. So nothing fancy. Um, I've moved off from the little pasture field next to me onto this little bit of scraped soil, which is definitely much easier to dig. Um, nothing still to write about, but I just thought, wanted to kind of sign in and let you know about the Deus 2 FMF elliptical 13 by 11 inch coil I'll say that after a couple of beers um yeah it's uh, yeah it's really good yeah in terms of weight um and in terms of size i'll put a bit of comparison on the on the screen now as i'm talking uh obviously it's going to be slightly heavier than the kind of round 11 inch standard coil and um, but it's definitely covering more ground that's for sure um, the weights that I put on the screen will also include the lower shaft because you get the lower shaft with it. So you haven't got to worry about keep taking the screws off and changing over the coils. You literally just flip out one of the, one of the lower shafts with a coil on it and put the new one in. So really, really easy and really easy to pair. And interestingly, you actually get 10% off with my discount code on the Deus 2 coils, which will save you £34.50. Uh, whereas I don't think you get 10% off yet on the Manticore coil. So you're definitely saving a few bob as well, uh, which brings it down a little bit. Um, yeah, and I'm so far so good, really pleased with it. Um, I haven't felt the weight particularly on my arm. So yeah, fantastic. Um, not much to show you. And we've had some shotties and some buttons. We are finding targets. That's the main thing. Um, I've moved on to a little bit of scraped soil, which is a bit easier to dig. And I found one of my old favourites, which is a little boat nail. Uh, I found hundreds of these over the years down here. So there was obviously some manufacturing of boats or something like that once upon a time. Uh, the river's not a million miles away. But yeah, Deus 2 coil, 13 by 11 inch, doing all right. Any finds to show you? Not particularly, but that's real metal detective, folks. See you in a bit. Well, it looks like we've finally found something. Not quite sure what it is. It was in the early 50s. It's actually quite deep, you can probably tell there. Um, this turned over so it was much easier to dig, so we're getting a bit more depth with the coil now. That's about four or five inches down. It was in the mid 50s or so. And um, yeah, I pinpointed it to here, and that's about as far as I got. But um, yeah, two little loops on each side. Is that a little nameplate maybe? An old school tag? Oh yeah, it's got something, hasn't it? Is it off a bracelet? I don't know. It's quite green. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice little interesting find, I think. A little party fact. 
Cool, I'll give that, oh, I say I give it a square. I realize I haven't brought my water bottle. So I'll give it a brush <laughs> and see if anything comes up. But so far, yeah, that's the best find of the day. That's a lovely little, whatever it is, either off a bracelet or a name tag or something like that. Cool, see you in a bit. Yeah, 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 that's nice. You can see that little, was it five little blobs in the middle and there's space in between. So yeah, I definitely think that's either kind of buckly or possibly kind of bracelet-y. It's not a name tag, that's for sure, so we can rule that out. Yeah, that's got a little bit of age to that, I reckon. That's quite pretty. Excellent. Well, that will go in the finds pot. Promising. Right. Excellent. Let's crack on. Next little interesting find. Coming in as a 74. A couple of inches down. Little lead lozenge. Presumably a little lead bullet of some description. Yeah, tiny little thing. It's not round, so it's not. A, I don't think it's a musket ball or pistol shot. It's a bit of lead. It's a bit interesting, and we'll take it. Well, uh, that beautiful sunny day has been quickly been replaced by lots of ominous clouds and wind and sod's law. Because I'm travelling light, I didn't actually bring my wind muffler to go over the edge end of my mic. So if you're picking up wind on the audio, I apologise. Um, next one, um, I was looking for a bit of clay pipe. I was just filming some B-roll with my little drone and I spotted a bit of clay pipe while I was kind of walking with the camera going. So I've just tracked back to try and find it and picked up a very faint 85, which is in this pile here. So I thought um, we'd have a look at it together, just in case we were in the coin territory. Oh, maybe it's not in here. Just down here, probably just out of sight now, isn't it? Like that. Yeah, well it's not a coin. That's very green. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, well it's something, I don't know what that is. Very green though. Been down there a while, I suspect. Yeah, little, another little interesting party fact. It might be a little bit of a pattern on there. I'll put my specs on. If I can spot anything, I'll let you know. But failing that, we shall move on. And then, just as I was starting to make progress on the fields, the clouds rolled in, the red kite started to sing, and Mark gave me the call. Well, this is what you call a roving reporter video. <laughs> so up until this point, you'll have known I was on my permission, but um, <clears throat> nothing coming up, so... Marky Mark, uh, bless him, he, uh, he'd already invited me down to come and say hello um, and then he rung me so I thought well I'm going to hightail it over to his field which is about 20 minutes away because he's just found something very very special. Uh, let's zoom in and I'll show you what he's got. Look at the state of that Marky Mark. Can you see that ladies and gents? That is gorgeous. No, and he's, he's also found a really nice lead find as well, which I'll put a picture up of, but just turn out of the wind so you can hear me. Um, absolutely beautiful. A gold, I would say that's medieval, Mark. He wants it to be older. I reckon that is old enough. Beautiful, pure gold, a garnet and a green stone still in place. That completely complete. That will straighten up lovely. That is a find of all finds. <laughs> He's on the gold. <laughs> are you going to do? A, are you going to do a dance? <laughs> oh, look at that! Well done, mate. So pleased for you. So as a result, it will come as no surprise that I'm going to have an hour mark. <laughs> See you in a bit. Well, we were right. 1200s to 1300s, pure gold, medieval double turreted fingering with an emerald and a ruby or a garnet it's an absolutely stunningly rare find well done mark stick around to the end and you'll see it all cleaned up it's a beauty well um oh i'm so chuffed for mark he's not only he's a lovely fella he's a gold magnet he's an absolute gold magnet um it just goes to show doesn't it you can spend thousands of pounds on machines or you can spend a few hundred uh, he runs the Simplex Ultra. He's a big Nocta fan. Had a Simplex, the normal Simplex beforehand. He's got the Simplex Ultra now. And he's picked up 
one of the most amazing gold rings I think I've ever held in my hand. So, um, you know, it just goes to show you don't have to ha always have high-end machines. He did say it was a very iffy, iffy signal, um, but he still dug it, and I'm pretty pleased he's di he did. Um, it was a 42-43 on the Deus 2, just in case you were wondering. But yeah, no, so super pleased for him. Lovely, lovely guy. Um, I've, we've not had much since, to be honest. We've been busy gassing most of the time, but also not finding much. This is my only find of note so far, other than aluminium and copper and lead. Some sort of, I don't know, whatever that may be. Little nubbin thing. Quite interesting, though. So yeah, not much for me on the new coil, but a cracking day for Mark uh, on his Simplex Ultra. See you in a bit. Next thing on the unusual party fact journey is this little thing. Again, copper in the 60s, broken, whatever it was, once upon a time. So yeah, cool. Don't mind things like that. Any ideas, let me know. Failing that, we'll move on. He's had worse days. <laughs> yep. Do you want to show the audience it one more time, mate? Yeah. Look at that. Absolute stunner. Um, someone much cleverer than us has already identified it as being kind of 1200s, 1300s. It's a thing of beauty, I know that much. Uh, it's very, very special find. Chuffed. A lovely gold ring, a chuffed you should be. Made up. Uh, not much for me. Uh, I didn't, never really got going today. Obviously I was down in my permission first, having a little bit of a rummage around. Uh, then, come, then kind of scooted over to see Mark. And by the time we finished gassing, yeah, didn't really get going. But nonetheless, Worth it just to right. see something like that. Absolute gold beauty. I won't do a round up, but I think I will spend a few seconds just enjoying that dance again, but also uh, that thing of beauty, that ring. Thanks so, um, <laughs> thanks as always for joining us. This time, uh, my next video will be from Detectable, from the fields of Detectable. Looking forward to seeing some great friends, uh, some new ones, some subscribers. So if you do see me, come along and say hello. I've got a few giveaways, that kind of stuff. But for now, thanks as always. What a legend. See you soon.